Now we go to reactance and impedance. Okay, reactance and impedance. So with this topic, we will be um, we will be learning what is an reactance, what is an impedance. Okay, so reactance. So let's write first the definition of reactance. Okay, so reactance is the property of an inductor or a, or a capacitor to oppose current flow in an AC circuit. So, basically, reactance uh, is like resistance. So, the, it is the property to oppose or to, to hinder or to obstruct or to slow down the flow of current in a circuit. But, reactance is only present on AC circuit or if your supply is an AC supply and it, and it is only applicable or it's it, it is only um, uh, what do you call that uh, it's only present on inductors or capacitors so that is reactance okay now the question is if the reactance has the same uh, the same property or the same characteristics or the same definition as an resistance or as a resistance then what is the unit for reactance so the unit for reactance so just like just like resistance so the unit for reactance is ohms so the unit of reactance that is ohms okay now you might wonder the unit for inductance is um, Henry the unit for capacitance is Farad now how will you convert or how will you um, make Henry and Farad into ohms because the rating of a capacitor and uh, the rating of an inductor is Farad and Henry respectively. So, but if we are going to consider them, their effect on an AC circuit as a reactance. So, how does reactance become, uh, how does Henry and Farad become ohms? So, may, so you would mind their how to do that so the answer is through a formula okay so the formula in converting our Henry our inductance into reactance so that is XL so XL so not extra large that that stands for inductive reactance so this is equal to Omega L if you remember in our previous video, omega is known as the angular velocity or equivalent to 2 pi f l. Okay, so there are lots of um, letters from there that we need to uh, we need to give the meaning. So let's just give the meaning of each one. So x l. Then we have omega, then we have L, and we have F, okay? So first we have XL, this is our, let's just type this one so that it will be neat. So this will be inductive, inductive reactants, okay? Then we have our omega.
this will be known as the angular velocity then we have l so l is will be our inductance and we have f which will be our frequency okay So, the unit for inductive reactance, of course, that is reactance. So, tumunta kayo that is ohms. Then, the angular velocity, this is rad per second. Oh, no. That is not... Uh, okay, that is... Uh, angular velocity is rad per second. Then, we have inductance. This will be Henry. So... Henry. And frequency, of course, it will be on Hertz. So we have now the inductive reactance. So for the capacitance or for the capacitor, we have also the capacitive reactance given by the formula xc is equal to 1 over omega c or equivalent to 1 over 2 pi fc okay so if you are wondering how to derive this formula so there is a book um, entitled Electrical Circuit by Charles Siskin. So you can read that book if you want to. So if you want to be uh, more in touch with your um, of yourself or, or of your um, mathematical talent, so you could uh, study the derivation. So, but the, the most important thing is you must be fa familiar with the formula itself okay so xc is the or x sub c that is the capacitive reactance then the c is the capacitance of our capacitor so i will just um write here the letters or the variables that is not defined on the above formula so c so this one is this one is the capacitive reactance. So we have and this one is the capacitance. Okay. So we just move this one align with our capacitance okay so the unit for um, re capacitive reactance still that is in ohms and the unit for our capacitance is in farad okay so we have farad So that is reactance. Now, in a circuit, for example, a uh, certain AC circuit, there there is a it is connected uh, with a resistor, a capacitor, and an inductor. So meaning we have a resistance, then we have inductive and capacitive reactance. So the overall effect of joining the resistance and the reactance in an AC circuit is what we term as impedance. So that is now the impedance. So the symbol for impedance, it is not I to avoid confusion with the current. It is Z. Okay. So that is 
let's just write first the definition So impedance is the joint effect or the total effect. If we could say total itself. So it is the joint effect of combining resistance and reactance in an AC circuit. So the symbol of impedance is Z. So the unit for resistance is ohms and the unit for reactance is ohms. Therefore, the unit for impedance is ohms. So, impedance is present in both AC and DC circuit if we are going to be uh, conservative with our definition. Okay, so let me discuss that one. In an AC circuit, you have a resistance. For example, you, con you connected a certain power resistor to an AC supply, then it will have its own resistance. Then you connected a inductor. Then you connected a capacitor, then the two will have uh, its inductive and capacitive reactance respectively. Okay, so the, the, the combined effect of the two or we could say the total, so it is not really the total because as you will see in the formula later, it is not the total. So the combined effect of the, of the resistance and the reactance is impedance. So that is for AC. So it is clear in an AC circuit we have the combined effect, the resistance and the reactance. Now how about in a DC circuit? So for DC. So there is a debate on this one. But if we are going to be conservative again with our definition, so the combined effect of resistance and reactance in a DC circuit will, will be also called as impedance. Why? In an DC circuit, there is a resistance. There is a resistance. So that is the resistance of the resistor. Now the question is, is there reactance? If we will go with the definition of the reactance, it is only present on an AC circuit because of the, going back to the formula, so let's just view over. So there is reactance in an AC circuit because we have the frequency. Okay, so because our frequency is equal to zero, so in for a DC circuit, so if this is zero, so automatically we have a zero reactance. So that is the main re uh, the one reason or the mo uh, the main reason why the uh, the value of reactance in a DC circuit is equal to zero uh, and we, we could argue that that will be true for this one for um, inductive reactance but if we're going if we go back or if we go to capacitive reactance, if our frequency is zero, then we will have an infinite value. Okay, so if going back to the, the definition, so there is impedance in an EC circuit. And there is also impedance in a DC circuit, but we are only um, considering the resistance. But to have this one in in a general way in a dc circuit consider only the resistance in an ac circuit consider the resistance and the reactance and you have that one as the impedance okay so that is to make the story shorter and to have a, a, a general rule for that one okay now the formula for impedance so I believe I have discussed that one longer than I expected to discuss. So because our main topic here is 
impedance and not the impedance in an EC and DC circuit. So impedance, the formula for impedance is equal to Z times uh, is equal to Z equal to square root of R squared plus XL minus XC squared. So that is the formula for impedance. So the unit for this formula is ohms. Okay, so that is impedance itself. Okay.